welcome to Basketball Talk Pro. I'm Ron Ecker, and uh, this is our last segment uh, of the year 2013. And uh, I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, so many of you who have uh, joined this. Uh, I don't know if I call it a show, but I uh, the, these video segments. Uh, because it has been very good. It's been very satisfying. Uh, we have grown uh, tremendously uh, since we started this in uh, September. Uh, we are doubling and tripling actually the number of people that uh, we contact and also doubling and tri uh, uh, tripling uh, the number of people that actually uh, come on and watch uh, the show uh, and uh, that's kind of normal uh, our uh, we have a, a way they uh, have um, standards uh, and our our uh, our number of people that uh, the percentage of people that watch actually watch the videos uh, or put them on uh, is significantly higher uh, than the the national uh, standards uh, that, w that were given. Uh, so it's been very good and uh, I'm hopeful that uh, it continues uh, because uh, something like this, if, it's, if it is, has value, I think is, is good for coaches. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, you don't have to give up a lot of your time. Uh, and yet, uh, when you consider over three times uh, a week that we uh, change videos, uh, that there's a lot there, uh, a lot of things, and we, we're going to try to make it, uh, make it uh, better. Uh, but it does show me uh, that two things. One, uh, I believe there's a real need uh, for this. Uh, coaches uh, a lot of times are stymied. Uh, they don't have the resources uh, to maybe get the get the background that uh, uh, that they uh, need, uh, and it also shows me that there's a lot of interest uh, from coaches that uh, want to uh, gain or uh, at least are professional enough to want to learn as much as uh, they can. We have all kinds of coaches that watch this from uh, NBA people down to, uh, not down, uh, uh, but uh, uh, high school coaches, uh, both uh, male and female. Uh, I think the last number they gave me, 25% uh, of our uh, people that come on are, uh, are ladies. Uh, so, and we have a number of people uh, internationally uh, that uh, watch it. Uh, so um, I just I, I just want you to know I really appreciate it, and we'll we'll, we'll continue to get better, uh, and uh, as we learn more, uh, and, uh, and and so that we can give you more uh, information. Well, as you come close to New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, you know this is a time of resolutions and. A, time of setting goals and a lot of those resolutions and a lot of those goals uh, go by the board sometimes within a week uh, after the first of the, uh, the year. Uh, I, mean, I, I have had a couple people contacting uh, me, one in particular, uh, his name is Mark Constock. Uh, he's a coach at Siena Heights University and uh, he sent to me uh, his goals, defensive goals, uh, for his team, and uh, uh, I, I was very taken by it. I thought it was well done, uh, and uh, he actually he calls them goals, uh, but probably more in my way of looking at it, they're standards. They're standards that uh, you can measure your team against. Uh, he has eight of them, um, very uh, simple, um, straightforward, and uh, but he also keeps a, an average for the year 
so he can look and see. He doesn't have to go game by game. He can see what they're doing in the season. Uh, this uh, gives him an idea of the uh, the the power of his team uh, defensively. Uh, so uh, it's very nice, and uh, I thank Mark for uh, for uh, sending it to me and letting me share you. I can't share you the actual items, obviously, but I can share with you the fact that uh, here's a, uh, a very veteran coach who carefully uh, takes uh, keeps track of uh, the items he, he feels are important in defense. And he has, by doing that, he has identified his values, what he uh, thinks are uh, important uh, in playing uh, defense. And as I look through it, uh, there's only one thing, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to use that thing to, not that I'm, uh, I'm trying to point out something uh, negative, but uh, I'm going to use it uh, for one of our segments. Um, uh, and that is, uh, he has a, a standard for contest shots, much lower uh, than I think it should be. Uh, but it probably is in the way we grade a contested shot. I had another very veteran coach contact me, uh, and he said uh, the same thing. He wondered how uh, do you... Uh, Rate a grade a contested shot and an uncontested shot. I will tell you that the NBA doesn't do it uh, because of that. They, they feel there's so much variance uh, and uh, it's too subjective. I have a system uh, that I use and I've used a long time. Uh, I don't have any problems uh, with it at all. It stood the test of time. And I want to show that to you only because these two uh, people uh, came to me and um, and I want to try to give you some good information on maybe that we can stabilize uh, for you uh, what, uh, what an uncontested and a contested shot are. These are very important uh, elements in your game. So, uh, but in order to do that, I wanted to do it today, uh, but it, I think the only good way to do it is to be able to show you on film, in live play, uh, what, uh, what is and isn't, and, uh, and how it affects uh, this uh, percentage that we look for. Uh, so um, that will be coming up. Just takes me, this is a kind of a difficult uh, thing uh, for me to, to do. And so it'll, uh, uh, in the next day or next segment or two, though, I, uh, I will get to it. Well, uh, as I said, I'm very happy with things, uh, how things are going. I don't have a lot to say today beyond that. But I do have a couple goals myself for, the, for this show. Uh, and one goal that I never, never vary from. Uh, and never uh, uh, limit, uh, and that is this. I, one of my goals is that every time we do this, that I'm giving you honest, truthful information, uh, the best that I can do, uh, best that I can uh, uh, give to you from my own experience, from having a, a, a lot of contact with a number of coaches through the years, um, hearing how they feel about things. Uh, but the, the bottom line is that, um, that what we're saying to you is correct uh, the best that we can. Now, you may disagree with me of, of what I say, uh, and, and a lot of times people will say, well, that's all right. No, it's not all right. Uh, it's only all right if yours is truer than mine uh, or anybody else that you disagree with. Because what happens is this. If you don't have the right uh, material, if you don't have the right emphasis, if you don't have the right approach, the 
people that suffer are those 10, 12, 13 players uh, that are on the floor with you. And I don't care, NBA, high school, college, uh, has no bearing on this. Uh, every one of those uh, groups, all those players in each group, uh, need to know uh, to be given the correct, uh, as best we can, it's one of my goals, but really it's my goal, has been my goal all along, it hasn't changed, uh, from the products we put up there to the information we do here, to the people we hope we brought one on and we're trying to bring more people on, uh, that you're getting the kind of information that you can pass on to your players. My second goal for Basketball Talk Pro uh, is that we get more coaches involved. I know there's a lot of coaches out there, many, many of them, that uh, should uh, be part of something like this and maybe want to, they just don't know uh, about it. Uh, we, we're sending out about 2,000 uh, emails now. I want, I want that to go up to, uh, I'm, I'm guessing we're somewhere in the area of 150 to 200 coaches that from time to time watch this show. They can't watch them all, some of them are pretty close. Uh, and um, but I want to move that up so that we're, we're, we're contacting nine, ten thousand uh, uh, coaches, and that we're at five to six hundred are, are, are viewing it uh, from time uh, to time. Then I think we're starting to reach out to many more uh, coaches that uh, it really need to be a part of something like this, whether it's this one or some some other one, uh, as long as they're getting the right uh, information. So, uh, hope you have a nice uh, holiday. You know, don't get any DUIs while you're enjoying yourself because that kind of puts a crimp on your, your career pretty quickly. And, uh, and we look forward to 2014. Uh, you know, with the thing I say about it is let's make it your best year. Uh, always try to make it your best year. And, uh, and, and things will t work out for the best. Thank you and see you next time.